What's up guys, welcome back to another Commander Deck Tech. This week we are doing Kadira, Call Her the Small. Now, <laughs> this commander, I only built for one reason. She makes 1-1 one, one rabbit tokens when she deals damage to a player equal to the number of tokens you control. So, or for each token you control, she makes a 1-1 one, one rabbit. Oh, I'm only making this deck because we have a giant rabbit, see? Picture here. So, the only reason we built this deck was to make rabbit tokens. Now, obviously, based on her ability, the whole point in deck, make as many tokens as you can. In my personal preference, I really don't care what kind of tokens we're making. We're just making tokens so that we can get her out, we can deal some damage, and make rabbit tokens. But, kicking this deck off, we'll stick her off to the corner here. Obviously, the first card is going to be one of the best token makers, at least in my opinion, in green, Scoot Swarm. Because you can get it out early enough and make a bunch of insect tokens. And as you go, it makes more and more tokens. Academy Manufacturer makes one token of each. A food, clue, or treasure token when you make one of the three. Thraven Inspector. Speaker of the Heavens. Rampage and Baylos. This card goes in pretty much all my green decks with Landfall. Uh, Usher of the Fallen. Leonin War Leader. Avenger Zendikar, Clarion Spirit, Tireless Provisioner, a Bartered Cow. Now, this one, there is obviously better token makers out there besides the Bartered Cow, but for me personally, I really enjoyed the Bartered Cow, and the girlfriend enjoys cows, so it's in there. Yeah, I know there's better cards for it. Uh, Tristani, Celestia's voice, it lets you populate, so you'll make more tokens. Land of War Mentor, you can pay a green, discard a card, create a 1-1 one, one Elf Druid. Uh, that's it as far as mana producing creatures. Next card you guys saw, Par Birds of Paradise. Uh, Paradise Druid, need a couple of mana dorks in there. Juniper Order Ranger, this card is great. Once you get the deck online or get your uh, creatures coming in, your creature tokens coming into play. Because then he'll just get bigger and he'll make your tokens bigger as they enter the field. And then... Okay, and then we got Soul Warden, Sutra Priest, and Daxos Blessed by the Sun. Now these three, obviously, are going to give you some life gain. You're going to have a lot of other creatures coming into play. So you want to get some life gain while you're at it. Uh, Renata called by the hunt. All your creatures will enter with an additional plus one plus one counter on them. So that's never a bad thing. Those one one rabbits will become two two rabbits. Mother runes. This was a Mother's Day gift for the girlfriend. So that secret lair art on there. Still a great card. Uh, wood elves to find some lands. Sun Titan because almost all of our permanents that are worth bringing back are three mana or less so sun titan course tree denzian when another white creature enters the battlefield under your control tap target creature and opponent controls these rabbits she makes are white one one rabbits so we can tap down our opponent's blockers Kamal Hardacrosa, because we're going to make them freaking rabbits huge and give them trample. Because why not? And then Strict Proctor is the last card. When a, permanent, when a permanent entering the battlefield causes an ability to trigger, counter that ability unless this controller plays two. Um, I actually haven't drawn this card in any games yet that i played it. So, I, I feel like it'll be good in this deck, but I haven't had the opportunity to play it yet. So, kicking off the artifacts, we got your basics. Soul Ring, Skull Clamp, Swiftfoot Boots, Arcane Signet, Commander Spear, Witch's Oven, because it makes food tokens, so we're making a lot of tokens, so our tokens will be disposable. Lightning Greaves, Oketra's Monument. Now... The when you cast white creature spells they cost one less 
isn't as important. It is important because there we have a good chunk of white creatures, but the second ability here, whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one white warrior token, is more the reason this is in here, because we want to make more tokens. Like I said, we want to make tokens. I don't really care what kind of tokens they are. I just want tokens, and I want them on the board. Thought Vessel, Felwar Stone, Nornwell Spring, and probably the best artifact in the deck, Eldrazi Monument, okay? Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, flying and indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature if you can't sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. Now, obviously, you don't want this, like, let's say, turn five or four with no creatures on the board. But turn like six or seven once you got a few creatures going and a few rabbits you can just pop your rabbit fuck it hope we don't get blocked for that all right i got a couple of enchantments in this deck to help pump up our tokens we got gaia's anthem um uvenwald mysteries house create clue tokens and whenever we sacrifice a clue it makes a one one white soldier a johnny's welcome Felidar Retreat to make more tokens. Garrick's Uprising. Now, this is more to give the Trample. I don't think we have that many creatures that have power 4 or greater. Glorious Anthem. Pump up our creatures. Authority to Consoles because we don't want our opponents swinging right away with their creatures and we want to gain more life. Dawn of Hope. Whenever you gain life, pay two. If you do, draw a card, and we can pay four and create a soldier with lifelink. Griffin Airy makes more tokens. Uh, that's all for the enchantments. For the instance, we have Flicker of Fate. March of the Multitudes, obviously make more tokens. Fog, Blacksmith Skill, Crop Rotation, because we want lands. Harrow, find more lands. Raise the alarm, make more tokens. Roiling regrowth, find more lands. Return to nature is never a bad card to have. That's all our instants in the deck. For sorceries, we only got a handful. We got Spectral Procession, Hour of Reckoning, Primal Growth, Rampant Growth, Cultivate, and Kodama's Reach, because we don't want to miss any land drops, we want to make sure we get to our land so we can have as much mana to use as many of our cards to make tokens as we can. The more ways to get lands, the better. And then we're running four Planeswalkers in this deck. Nissa Ascended Animist, Garrick Relentless, Garrick Unleashed, and a Johnny Caller of the Pride. So, um... A Johnny Call Letter Pride, you can put the plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, but if you can get it to minus eight, okay? If you can get to minus eight, you can put X two two white cats on the battlefield where X is your life total. If you can ulti this, it's insane. Especially with all the life gain we got in this deck. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Have you played this deck? Have you played against this deck? Would you build this deck is this something you can see yourself playing if you guys have any suggestions leave a comment down below now this deck i know there's ways we can optimize it but for what i'm trying to do with it it's pretty good i just kind of let it be the way it is i enjoy playing it it's not the fastest deck out there uh, it could definitely be faster but for what it is but i will see you guys in the next deck tech hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe